In this problem, we need to calculate the mass of the region B in the first quadrant bounded by y equals cosine of x and y equals sine of x, with x being between 0 and pi over 4. And the area, area density is x plus 1. OK, in order to solve this problem, uh, we need to find the mass. And mass is equal to the integral of area density times this height function dx. OK, so well, we are given the area density in the problem. It is x plus 1. And now we need to find this height function here. And we will do that by looking at the graphs cosine of x and sine of x. So why don't we draw them right here. On top here we have the cosine of x graph, and below we have the sine of x graph. And here we have the region between the two graphs, and they meet at the endpoint here, pi over 4. And starting here is our y-axis, where x is equal to 0. And we are trying to find the mass of the region here, so this region b. OK, so for our height function, we see that cosine graph is on top of the sine graph, indicating that our height function will be cosine of x minus sine of x. So h of x. equals cosine of x minus sine of x. And we can input this information in the integral here with the area density we're given. OK, so now we have this integral here. And it could be solved by a very simple integration by parts. And we have two choices. Well, first, integration by parts is given by the equation u dv equals uv minus v du. OK, and we have two choices for you here. We have x plus 1 or cosine of x minus sine of x. And we're going to choose x plus 1. If you do choose u to equal cosine of x minus sine of x, the problem is a little bit more difficult. So we will have u equal to x plus 1. Since u equals x plus 1, we have a dv of cosine of x minus sine of x dx. OK, and finding du, we take the derivative of both sides here, and we get du is equal to dx. And in order to find v here, we integrate both sides. And integrating cosine of x minus sine of x dx, we get sine of x 
plus cosine of x. And now, and now we have all the components in order to solve the problem by partial, uh, by parts. So u times v, so x plus 1 times sine of x plus cosine of x. Okay, and this, of course, is evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. Minus VDU. In this case, it is the integral of sine of x plus cosine of x. dx. Okay, um, so now let's evaluate this here. So let's evaluate at pi over 4. So x plus 1 evaluated at pi over 4 will be pi over 4 plus 1. All of this times cosine of pi over 4 which is just square root of 2 over 2. Plus sine of pi over 4, which again is just square root of 2 over 2. And this is minus this function evaluated at 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Cosine of pi over 4 is, I'm sorry, cosine of 0 is 1. And cosine of 0 is 0. Okay, now let's do the integral here. Okay, so we integrate sine of x. And the integral of sine of x is negative cosine of x. And the integral of cosine of x is sine of x. And of course, evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. OK, so evaluating this here, we can see that Negative cosine of pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2. And sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. And these two cancel. OK, so now we have minus negative cosine of 0, which is negative 1. Plus sine of 0, which is 0. OK, so and of course, all of this just equates to 1 here, negative, negative 1. So this whole expression here comes out to just negative 1. OK, so let's go back to over here. Square root of 2, square root of two over 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 is just square root of 2.
and then we have minus 1. And of course, minus 1 from this expression. Okay, now doing the arithmetic here, we end up with the final answer of square root of 2 pi over 4 plus square root of 2 all minus 2. And that is our final answer here.